A blessed day to you all my sports to the bone people. We are back at it again. So it is that time once again where I'll, I will give you the keys to victory for another West Indies game. I mean I keep on giving you guys keys to victory. But it would appear as if the Australians either them change the lock or they change the door or the gate or the grill. Right, I give him the keys to victory, but the key is not working any at all. But still going to give them the keys just in case they find a lock with that he can't open. So we play later on tonight. So I'm going to talk about my plane 11 plus a couple of things that we need to get right. And uh, um, we also see where Shamar Joseph, he has been nominated um, for player of the month by ICC for January. So we're going to touch on that. Let's give a listening ear. And let me know what you all think in the comment section. So let us start with um, Shamar Joseph and then I will go down into the rest of it. So Shamar Joseph, my viewers and subscribers, he burst onto the scene um, in that first test match there against Australia. He got rid of Steve Smith with his first delivery, got rid of Marnus Lamachine, pick up, picked up a couple of other wickets. And then in the second test match, he basically bowled us to victory. You know, picking up seven wickets. Um, very, very good bowling. And we don't want to forget his batting. You know, I think it was in the first game that he scored uh, at 30 yard. Um, I think it was 35 or, or 33. Um, scored some runs to, to, to help us. So, you know, Shamar Joseph, my people, burst on the scene. Um, picking up a couple of five wicket hauls. He has been nominated. Um, I, you know, I saw it on the, on the ICC website there that he has been nominated no he will be going up against Oli Pope from England um Oli Pope you know he he had a very good knock against India um he went in 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 one of the tests I think it was the first test of the series that they are currently playing you know when he went into bat they were 45 for one and he actually batted um, and made 196 in 278 deliveries, getting 21 boundaries, which helped to propel England up to 420 before you know they were able to um, bowl out uh, India after and secure a victory. So um, he will be going up against Oli Pope, my people. Uh, also, Josh Hazelwood. Josh Hazelwood. Um, we would have seen his exploits also, you know, with the ball, um, bowling, bowling, um, pretty good. I think he even brought up, took his 258 test wickets. So, you know, um, Josh Hazelwood, he is is an, is another is the next nominee. So, you know, um, those are the three guys there. So they said the Australian pacer joined an elite club in January after taking his 258 wicket in the longest format. Right, they say Hazelwood played three tests during the month, um, starting in the fashion uh, with with uh, with four wickets in the second innings of their third matchup against Pakistan, right? And then we we would have seen how we how we went against um, West Indies also. So shout out to all three guys, you know, Oli Pope, um, Josh Hazelwood, and our own Shamar Joseph. You definitely you know that I am leaning towards our player getting it so we're just gonna have to wait and see how that goes um uh yeah so so that is it for for those guys um for those guys there now going into our odi game later on tonight that one is another tricky one my people don't know australia already win the series so we could we probably see them making a few changes so how we were planning for the first um for the first and the second game we can't plan the same way now, looking at the West Indies team, um, it's 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 difficult to 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 pick up playing eleven out, out, out of the squad that we have because somewhere somehow we're going to be reusing the same players. We're going to be recycling the same players in the squad. There, it's not a big squad. Um, you know, one of the things that I'm that I'm a bit worried about is the bowling. The bowling unit did well. They they restricted Australia for two hundred and fifty eight. And even though not all the bowlers really um, chipped in as all you would have wanted, you, you, you don't want to really change up the bowling too much. Oshin Thomas is the, is, the, is the one that I'm talking about now, my people. Um, he's in as a specialist bowler. 
and it's it's very difficult to have my specialist bowler bowling um four or five or six overs my my specialist seamer needs to be he has to give me eight nine ten overs if he cannot give me the full ten then he give me eight and then we split the rest between um either a part time seam a part time pacer or, or, or a spin bowler but when you have a, a pacer in the team and you cannot bowl him because of, of, of runs, you know, that, that, that's definitely problematic there. Because if you have a specialist pacer, pace bowler on the team, you're expecting him to bowl his, his quota. You're expect, expecting 10 overs from him. Anybody can have a rough day and um, you have to take him, you know, and put him on one side. So that is the only thing tweet that I, I I am thinking about making for the ODI um for the third game. But if I even make that tweet, there is nobody to bring in except a spinner. You understand? There, there is no that uh, um I have I have Imlak on the bench and I have Aiden Walsh Jr. on the bench. You understand? Teddy Bishop. These guys are are batsmen and and and, and spinners and things. So um not a lot can be done there. So we're gonna probably have to trust him and and and, and play him. You understand? If we had a, another seamer, it would have been an easy decision there. So I'm thinking about going with Alec. I see quite a few people calling for Alec Arthanes to be dropped. I am I am giving him the third game, you know. I am giving him the third game. And listen why now. Um we have decided that he's 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 the future um in terms of, of, of opening. You know, we are trying him, so I I, I go and give him the third game. I can understand people people wondering how is it that he is failing so much and, and, and still getting a run. But when you when you when you find somebody and you think that you know it's something that can work, you want to give him a couple of games. Plus if when I go up against Australia anyways, you know, man going feel and then they're probably going to shine against other teams. So um I go I go and go with him again. Uh Justin Greaves opening, I'm not too sure sure about that. We have we have another opener in the team in the, in the team you know um at least an opener if my memory serves me right so um I would be looking to switch it up if I am going to give him another game I didn't even get a ch I didn't even see how he got out in the last game he played in the second game didn't see how he got out um he, he, he did make double figures though double figure um so I would be opening with Alec and, and probably give Atley a chance there seeing that he's is is an opener you understand? Not much difference based on the fact that we, we are usually losing early wickets. Then we would go Carty at three, um, She Hope at four, Justin Greaves at five. So um, we know that he, he, he they had him batting um, up the top there opening. But I'm going to let him play the all round, the all round role. I'm going to bat him further down, down the other, and then um, he will bowl some. So that is that is how, how, how I am looking at it. If I am going to play Utley, and and then Grease would be at five. If I if I want to change my mind and I, I still not fully settled, if I want to play Bishop because you don't want to take the youngster and and, and it's not like we're looking to, to secure the series because the, we already the series already gone. So if I want to to go with um if I want to go with with uh Teddy Bishop, then that 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 would mean that. Yeah, then, then you know, Utley would have to sit out, and then you would have Greaves moving back to open. Because if I if I if I drop Justin Greaves, then I I'm gonna have a problem with the bowling because uh, Greaves is expected to bowl to bowl some overs. So that is the only spot that would be free there because I'm not dropping Alec, and then you know I would I would get a chance to play Teddy Bishop there, and he would bat at five, and 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 Greaves would still stick with the opening spot. Um, but I don't know. Chase would come in at at at, at six after. Then we have Romario Shepherd, Azari Joseph, Ford, uh, Moti, and Thomas. Uh, that is basically how it would look, my people. Not the strongest team in the world, but based on the squad that we have, we have to work it. I see people, I see people saying that um they're going to drop four. I see people dropping four people out of the team, and when I ask them who they're going to use to replace those four, they can't answer. Because obviously you don't have four or five people in the, in the squad there waiting that, that, that can, can replace. They're going to talk about people that refused to, 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 to go to Australia. Which don't make any sense. At the time, obviously I'm not saying, saying some of the guys like the poor and these guys you know, should be finished or, or, or should be picked. I am saying that they are not there. So how you go, I sense you're going, you're going to say that they should be batting at four or five and they must bat in the next game. That don't make no sense if they're not in this squad. 
I, I read in the comment section and I see people talking about, you know, this guy must not play and this guy mustn't play. And then when you ask them who, 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 who would replace them, they're going to tell you poor and hit my and 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 mirrors and 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 them guys. Or you're going to replace them with people with, with people that that, that we part the Australia. That makes no sense. So that that is how I would play it, my viewers and subscribers. Very difficult playing eleven to pick. Anywhere we take it, this is it, it going to be tough because all I, all I, all I see I'm 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 playing hopscotch and, and trying to shuffle around is i'm trying to shuffle around to try and get the the batsmen to to, to to look good or to or to make runs or find a way how they can score but all the shuffle me i shuffle around i don't it make any sense because the ball out the side for 258 and them can't make that so i i don't think i don't think if the bowlers even get them for 230 or 200 they're going to make it so it, it, it sound it sound down and sound difficult but I have to be squeezing and looking all over the place just to adjust so I can find a way to get seven, at least seven guys that you know can bat in there. You understand? And then the rest would be bowlers. That's how I'm trying to do it. But I, I, when you I, when you, he, he side heavy, batting heavy, um, based on paper, it, 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 it kind of tough. But let me know what you all think in the comment section, my people. The keys to victory, the usual things. Go out there if you can if you can restrict them for under three hundred or bowl them out for under three hundred. That is a small win. That is a win. We would have to just pack the pack that up and say yes. We have that in the bag, and when we go to the next series, we we go we go remember that because it's highly unlikely that our batsmen will get the, 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 the if we whatever we, we restrict our bowl them out for. If we're batting first, um, three hundred is the is the mark. You understand? Three hundred hardly winning ODI cricket these days. But if our guys can settle down and bat one man or two man. In the top order, they, they have to score over 50 and, and, and one get a century. That's how you win these games. Um, because we don't have any, you know, it's not like we have anybody coming in the, in the, in the lower order that going really stick around and power it all over the place. But let me know what you all think, my people. I, I think it's going to be another rough night. I'm going to leave you right there, so for now. Big up.